Hello, I'm Sheena Douglas and thanks to the phenomenal success of Paint Fusion, I'm back with my new Christmas Paint Fusion DVD. I've had a good play and come up with a whole range of Christmas Paint Fusion projects and here they are. I'm so excited to be able to bring this DVD to you, which includes some brand new tips, tricks and Paint Fusion Christmas images that will make your masterpieces even better. And I've even thrown in a few extras for good luck. In the project section, I've designed some simple card based exercises that you can use to get started. So we'll start painting with this top leaf. Now I've got the paint worked into the brush. I'm going to use the dark green to the outside and I'm going to just start painting in a kind of a ruffly movement here. And you want those, those sharp peaks there. You want to keep those nice and sharp. I'm going to turn that round and we're going to have the dark green to the outside again. And do the same thing. Do not worry if you're not following the stamp perfectly. We'll then move on to more challenging projects as you gain more confidence in your paint fusion skills. I'm going to load it with the brown first. We're going to tip it with a little bit of the antique white and then we're going to start and just start making little tick shapes here. So we'll do that again. Now, if you want to be a bit clever with it, if you start when you first load the brush and do it to one side consistently of the fur cone, so for example, if I wanted to make the top look like there's light shining on it, always put that brush stroke on first, then work across, and you'll see what's happening is that lighter colour is disappearing the more brush strokes I create, and naturally giving the fur cone shape and definition as if you've, you've highlighted it. And also, there's a further technique section where you can get ideas on how you can apply your new paint fusion skills in a variety of different ways. Same as painting on the card, but you, like I said, you'll find there's absolutely no resistance, so your brush will just glide over that surface. So be careful, it just doesn't run away from you. Another thing I would do is if it's quite a complicated image, um, I would paint part of it and then pop it to one side and let it dry because remember, you can't force dry it with your heat gun. It's wax. It'll melt. You'll be amazed by the beautiful Paint Fusion Christmas cards and gifts that you can create.